guys, it's Han from Guyana, and today we're going to Main Stay Wayaka in Region 2. We have to cross the Demerara River, the Essequibo River, all the way to Ana Regina. Crossing the Demerara River on the fourth longest floating bridge in the world. This part piece of the bridge opens up for ships to pass. Crossing from Demerara Mahaika to the Essequibo Islands, West Demerara. Which is region 4 to region 3. And we just got breakfast. I got Chana Joseph got um, a Polari egg ball. And mom got a fish cake. And dad got shrimp curry. Now we're here in Parika, and from Parika we're going on a ferry and crossing the Essequibo River. And this is the spelling. These are the speed boats that people also travel in if they're not with a car or a vehicle or something like that. Before we get on to the ferry, it's very hot outside, so we are getting some snow cones. Now we're driving on to the ferry. We're all here on the ferry about to cross the Essequibo River. boat that's coming in. The ferry is almost ready to go and they're lifting up the ramp. And they are loosing off the ropes so the ferry can get going now. Now we're right here at Wakenham Island, we're passing it. And in Dutch, Wakenham means waiting for a name. What do you think we should name it? Hana from Guyana Island. Driving at the Supernam Stelling over there. And um, in about an hour and a half. We're now arriving in Region 2.
Look at that huge rice mill. Rice test, nice and ice and ice. The Essequibo coast grows a lot of rice. For those of you who don't know where rice comes from, this is it. We took a little detour up to Charity. This is the Pomeroon River. And welcome to Andrews, as the sign says. So now we're back in Anna Regina and we're heading to Mainstay. Having a snack, Chinese chicken fried rice. According to that side, we're in Lake Mainstay. Traditional culture while building one Gayat. Wow, fancy. <laughs> this is the beautiful Manstay Lake. guest house I'm finishing off my chicken fried rice I was just out kite flying but I didn't get the video because the sky was getting darker I will do it tomorrow it was so we can't find words to describe it um my kite is shaped like a bird and there was little birds coming and flying with it and then and um a chicken hawk went into a, a tree right next to where I was flying my kite and then got a frog and then flew back out with the frog in its claws. And then my kite fell down, so I came in to eat dinner. Good morning, everyone. We just woke up. I'm having a ripe mango. Joseph is back to flying my kite. <laughs> His won't go up, so he's burning. How the flight can go, Joe? Now we're all having breakfast. Like I said before, there is a stove in the guest house, so you can cook your own meals. So there is this cool, like, hangout spot right next to our guest house, and we just came here to like enjoy the breeze and look at the lake. And Dad is going. Fishing.
Now I'm here with the tooth shell of Mainstay Wayaka, Yvonne Pearson. She's also a member of Parliament. It's a pleasure to have you here. I'll take you through the trail and everything in this trail is on traditional knowledge, okay? We're hoping to open it to the public by the end of next month, that's me. So here we go. See here, this is a huge ant's nest and we call it the Fuku ants. Our belief, our ancestors, you know what they used to do? If you're lazy, they would give you the treatment, bring, put some ants on you and then you will be energized. So this is the Fuku ants nest and um, you know, persons can try it, we can test it. This was, yeah, this was 20 acres of land. Well, we measure the tree like your house. Or the sign of the tomorrow. Um, like, depends on how you walk. Or so the small ones or farther ones. Yeah, yeah. Depends on how much you talk to. <laughs> you know that it's true, okay? Yeah. So they call this a bridge. What? I don't know what you yeah. would like to call it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you see now here we labeling the trees. So on this yeah, this is going to tell you about the mining, how we use it. Yeah, ah, correct. You know the thing, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. Right. The Kariman tree. Right. This is Silver Valley. You got to take off the people now. <laughs> and some of the um, the money, the money gone. So, why should people visit this village? Oh, people must, could come to this village and um, they'll be able to relax. They'll be able to come out and have a tour of our nature trail and learn things based on traditional knowledge. Because when I say traditional knowledge, I'm also talking not only about these trees that we're looking at, we're talking about medicinal plants. We're talking about things like, um, English people would say charm, and we say bina. So you will come and learn about our bina, learn about how we used to use the forest and how we still use it. And there are lots of other things that you can learn from us. and the medicinal value based on traditional knowledge is that if you got bitten by a snake you peel the bark and you take the inner sap you chew it swallow the juice and it will help you until you get medical attention and we have people who did it and they're still alive up to now mm -hmm. based on traditional knowledge and they must have a creek from it yes we got a creek to him we plan to feed it if, if, if you see water running yeah, once you swam there, down there, you got to swim creek. Yeah, you got to swim creek. I mean, you had to just creek this slow, don't like water, it's wrong. Yeah, water is really good. That's why we build a bridge high. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How do you make? Mm -hmm. So we got different um, species of this here. And these here got all kind of stories behind them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but there it's only a tiny deer and it just rushed into the bush.
Ay, bibilit sa na tabi na. Ay, nung event ni Juan, si Komaltay, hama. Ay, experience si Jonga. Ang wata, yung kong nothing, may history. If it's close, you can eat it. If you want to do it, you see some nice, nice fruit. And the animal, the monkey, or the birds, you don't touch it. Wait, once they're eating it? Yeah, see what they do. Don't touch it. You don't want to cook, there's local people here that you can order from. Now we're going to go into the resort to for a short swim. Now we are back at the hangout spot as you can see and we came to swim here while we are waiting for our dinner to be cooked. It's our last morning in Mainstay and my dad went fishing last night in the lake and this is what's for breakfast. Blue and rice. Now we're all packed up and ready to go. We are waiting for the ferry so we stopped here at the Aurora chimney. So this chimney is part of a old factory that used to process sugar cane and turn it into sugar. We're right on the back of the Essequibo River. This was the well that the factory used to use. This um, tank was also part of the sugar factory and it's from 1869 and look, it comes from Glasgow. In Scotland, which is where my mom is from. And this nice lady who lives right next to the chimney gave us some refreshments and the nice lady that lived there gave us this bottle that she found around the area and she said that they used to use these bottles to store wine it's a wonderful trip don't forget to like and subscribe bye until the next time